Welcome trombonists to your weekly lesson and we are now on page seven in your sound innovations book. So make sure you have your trombone out and ready to go and make sure you have your book turned to page seven. We have some new things on this page. So I wanna take a few moments and just go over those new things. So up until now, we've had whole notes, which get four beats, ta, a, a, a. And you've had whole rest, which get four beats also, but instead of playing, you're resting. Rest, 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 rest. Now we are gonna move into what's called half notes, right there. So it looks like a whole note, but it has a little stem coming down from it, or going up. You might see sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. That does not matter. As long as it has the stem, that is what matters. So a half note gets two beats. So if we look at our whole note that went ta, ah, 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 our half note just goes ta, ah. One, two. Ta, ah. Next thing you see is your half rest. So instead of a hole in the line, like you saw on the previous pages, where it's the whole rest and that gets four beats, this looks like it's sitting right on top of the line. That means it gets two beats rest and you're just gonna think rest, rest. So instead of saying rest four times, you're just gonna say it twice. The last thing you're gonna see is over here on the right, it's a thick black line with a thin black line and two little dots. That means a repeat. That means you're gonna repeat the entire song again. So you'll see it's at the end of song 12, song 13, and song 14. We're gonna play them twice through. So you wanna make sure you don't forget about those. Okay, let's look down at half the time. Now what you'll notice is they're all half notes. You do have some other notes and some of the ends of the other songs that are whole notes, but half notes go for two beats. Ta, ta, ta. All right, so here we go. Starts on your second line, which is good boys. So it's a B and it has a little B in front of it, so it means B flat. So it is our first position. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. So that is the whole song. Hopefully you didn't forget about the repeat at the end where we go back to the beginning. So that one moves along quite a bit. All right, let's look down and mix it up. Again, remember, pause the video so you can go back and practice on your own, or you can go rewind the video a little bit and practice along with me. You don't have to just do it once and move on because the chances you got it right the first time are very slim. If you did, awesome, great, then move on to the next song. But if you had a little trouble with it, just do it a couple times. It might only take you two or three times. It might take you a hundred times. That's okay. Does not matter. Okay, here we go. Number 13 starts on our D, which is your third line. Good boys deserve. Note D, which is a fourth position. So get your trombone up and ready into fourth position. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Again, hope you didn't forget about the repeat. This one jumps around a lot with the arm, a lot of six to one, and it's getting quicker. So you need to make sure you're really quick with that hand and where you move the slide around. Again, take your time, all right? Let's go down to number 14, duet, do it. So a duet is a piece that is written for two people. 
So which is great because you're playing along with me. We've got you and me, one and two, which is the nice thing. Now, when two or more people are playing together and they're playing different notes, not the same notes, but two different notes at the same time, that is called harmony. Oh, this is what makes music interesting. All the music you listen to on the radio has harmony in it. All the band music we're going to eventually start playing has harmony in it. This is what makes it sound really nice. So when we're playing together, we're creating that harmony. Now, if you look down at number 14, you're going to notice there's a line A and a line B. So the first time through, you're going to play line A, and I am going to play line B. The second time through, you're going to play line B, and I'm going to play line A. Now, in this time, there's a repeat at the end. We're just going to do it through once. But again, you can back it up to do it as many times as you want. So here we go, do it, do it. You are playing line A while I play line B. Here we go. Here it starts on first position, B flat. One, two, ready, go. That is the playing it together. Remember, you're not always matching me. Sometimes your notes will sound the same as mine. Sometimes they won't. Now let's switch it up. I want you to play line B while I play line A. Here we go. Starts on the same note for you. So you play off a of line B. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Again, in this one, please back it up because what you'll find is the harmonies sound really neat together. So this makes it fun to play. So play this through multiple times playing line A and multiple times playing line B. Don't do it just once. All right, last song on the page, name the notes. So if you remembered in the last lesson, I, had you, I showed you how to write your positions in. In this one, it wants you to write your note names and the positions in. So you need to go through on that line that's below each note and write its note name in and write its position in. Again, we only have three notes that you've learned so far. On the next page, we're gonna add a few new notes, but on this page, we only have our B flat, which is in first position, and it's on the second line, our C, which is on the second space and is in sixth position, and your D, which is on the third line in fourth position. All right, so take a few. If you need to, pause the video, go ahead, write your notes in and write your positions in. Once you're all set, resume the video and get ready to play. Here we go. Number 15 starts, you already know what it starts with. I don't need to tell you. So here we go. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> number 15 and that finishes up all of page 7. So make sure you take your time on this page because remember each page builds on each other so you do not want to move on to the next page until you get really good at the page you're on. It may take you a couple days, it may take you a couple of weeks. That's okay, doesn't matter. Just keep getting better every day, that's all I ask for. Just get a little bit better each day and you'll be doing fine. When you're finished with this page, Go ahead and move on to the next video.